The dojo now has Stockfish 17. It's a beautiful addition in and of itself, but it's also part of a long-term dream to enable players to do all of their study in one place. Back in the day, at the end of the last millennium, players like myself discovered Chessbase, and there you had a file system with a database of master's games and the ability to check it with the computer. That was a revolutionary tool in terms of prepping openings. Before that, I was writing stuff down in a little notebook, as, were ev as was basically everybody else. Okay, so that changed everything. And the, then later we had Chessable, and that allowed people to uh, train those moves. Also kind of revolutionary, right? So um, now the dream is for us to bring all of those together. At the moment, in fact, it's very difficult with chess base because it's very expensive and you have to update the database all the time and then you have to export it to Chessable. So our dream was quite simple. Could we get a files system where you could put your games in? where you had access to all of the master's games that were continually updated as well as amateur games, right? Could you get that all in one place? We did it. And then the next step is we needed an engine so people could build their opening files on our site, right? And that's what we have here. And the third step, which we don't have, but hopefully will be there in a couple months, is for us to have an openings trainer. So just with a click of a button, instead of having to download files and send them here and there, zip zap, you can do it all in one spot. Okay, so that's the dream. And let me give you now a little tour. So the first thing that I want us to see is this amazing database that we have here. So this is the master's database. And here you can see we have a dojo. Uh, database too. That's all the games that are in the dojo and those are, that's the place where you would submit your games and other people can look at it. Here the table base, also another amazing feature, is if the game reaches a seven piece end game at the end, there's like the objective truth that you can just see if that's what you want to see. Okay, so this is the database. It's continually updated. Beautiful tool. Uh, back in the day with Chessbase, we had to download Twic every week. It was a real hassle. Okay. Now, I do want to say that I have some reservations about the computer. This is before I show you how the computer works. Um, one of the beautiful things about the dojo is that we have a culture of people analyzing their games without the computer. It's a lot of hard work and it's how to improve. You do not want to analyze your games with just instantly turning on the computer. And I'll give you an example of my, one of my own games of how I think you can use it in terms of analyzing your own games. So I just want to show something real quick in terms of a cultural thing. This is our new heat map over here that we just released. This is my profile. And something you will see is all of a sudden, oh, I'm logging something every day before we didn't have this heat map thing. And before it was like, oh, I was kind of calculating roughly how much I was doing. Let's say I would read a book and let's say it was 40 hours to read the book. I guessed it. I would put it in there, you know, just at one time. Here now I'm doing it every day. And of course, it's encouraging me to do it every day. So it's a beautiful thing in terms of inculcating good habits. Now. My reservation with the computer is just having it there. With the computer, I mean Stockfish. Just having it there is hopefully going not going to encourage people to turn that thing on too early. It'd be a big problem. And if it starts happening, then I'm gonna regret <laughs> bringing this Stockfish onto the scene. And I'm the one who was really pushing for it because like I said, I wanted myself as a user to replace Chessbase and Chessable, and so I was like, well, I'm sure other people will want this too. Okay, so now let me show you what the Stockfish looks like here. All right, so here's an example of a game I played recently. This was the US Senior Round 2, and I did 
some of the best opening preparation ever when I just played this move, bishop d3 to b5. It's very much a computer move, and this is very much opening theory. It doesn't, I don't think it existed before now, but this was like a critical position in the easy system against the French, which I did a course about, um, that has arisen, and it's very spicy. Now, my opponent, after the game, Douglas Root was like, well, I should have played knight c4. And I knew the computer liked the position. You know, I looked at a lot of positions. It's not like I remembered everything. Um, and so I tried to make knight takes e6 work in this position in our postmortem. And I kind of even convinced him of maybe knight takes e6 work. Then in my own postmortem, I spent hours and hours on it. I was like, no, I can't make it work. It's not working. And then I discovered, oh man, the very surprising, surprising to me anyway, rook takes e6 after knight c4. And, you know, I spent a long time on it. And then one of the nice things about the computer is the computer then validated that. It was, yes, knight c4, rook takes e6 is the move, not knight takes e6. And is it wild and hairy? Incredibly so. Incredibly so, right? Okay, so the main use of the computer is to um, do your opening work. And that's especially players who are like 1600, 1800 plus, right? That's when it gets kind of important. Before then, your opponents aren't gonna be playing the most critical opening moves anyway. So it's not gonna be really even worth your time to be doing opening work. Also, though, at the very end of your analysis, after you have really tested your mind on the position, that's when I think it's okay to use the computer. It's like you're testing yourself against this beast of how well did you do? And there's a certain intellectual curiosity that goes along with it. Also, uh, with the studying with the computer, both the openings and then maybe your own games, Viewing the game through the lens of the stockfish can be fascinating. It can turn you on to thinking about new ways of chess. And at the very minimum, you could say to yourself, well, the computer might want to play this way. And there are a lot of positions the computer plays stuff that probably a human shouldn't be playing that way at all, even if it says it's the best move. Okay, so a couple things that we did, I think are really cool. You can go in here and you can click on any given move, okay? And it can just pop, it'll just pop into your analysis. However, when it pops in, it'll show you this little stockfish icon, I love it. And that just means that you found this with the computer. And I think that's very important in the analysis you do is to say what was found with the computer and whatnot. I, for example, do it all myself and then I do it with a coach. And so a lot of these lines will be like KGB, that's my coach. I'll say he thought this, you know, and then we'll bring it in with the engine at the very end. And I'll just check a couple positions like this one about what does the machine think is going on. Okay, now to our beautiful engine. Um, the first thing I should say is that when Alpha Zero beat Stockfish pre-COVID, okay, then it was not using AI or a neural network, okay? And so it was an older algorithm. And the reason that's important for us to understand now is when you go on here, one of the first things you should decide is what do you want to use? If you're going from, let's say, your phone, and you have a weak phone, then you should use the Stockfish 11. Because the Stockfish 11 is not using a neural network. It requires a lot less energy from your computer. Also, then you can see if you have a weaker desktop, maybe then you want this Stockfish Lite, the 16.1. I'm here on a pretty nice desktop, so I'm using this 17. Stockfish 17, the newest. Okay, the next thing I want us to see is these are our default uh, settings here, but you can adjust it. And the most important ones that I want to point out are the lines and the depth. <clears throat> the depth just means when it's gonna reach its uh, final 
situation. I can change it. It's fine. I can change it to 99. It'll just take longer for it to get there, right? And the number of lines, if I'm just trying to find like what is the most accurate move, I can put it to one and just see the line. It'll concentrate on that line. Whereas now if I put it to five, it's going to be concentrating on giving me five, the evaluations of five different lines, even though it knows they're not the best. Okay, threads just means how much, how many cores on your machine it's able to use, and memory uh, doesn't matter too much. You can fool around with that. Okay, so uh, the next thing I want to just address is the relative strengths of these things, and um, roughly speaking, right? You can imagine a computer running on a mobile phone, then maybe a, a desktop, and then maybe on some cloud where it has access to a supercomputer. And what I've learned is that the major difference, let's just say from the browser to me running it, let's say on chess space, through, where it's downloaded to my own computer, is really just a question of it being a little bit faster. But the same result, and I tested this, is gonna be achieved if I just let it run a couple seconds longer. So that doesn't change that much. And it's the same thing is if we use a cloud. So it will get the same result, it'll just take a little longer. Something, that might happen later in the dojo, and this depends on really user feedback, is if people want access to that cloud, I'm actually one of those people, just because I'm intellectually curious about like, you know, I want the full power. If people want that, then that's something that we can build in. Maybe we could charge a little extra for it or something like that. But that's something that we can get if people want to get it. So there it is. The dojo now has stockfish. I think it's a beautiful thing. And like I said, please, if you have been studying your games without the computer, don't turn this thing on until the very end. But definitely use it to create your own opening files, right? And then you just have it on the site. This is my little files. And you can share it with people, right? You can talk about it. Beautiful. And you continually update it. And soon, as I said, the dream is to get an openings trainer with a click of a button, you have these lines and you go bam, and then you're in there training your opening. All right, there it is, Stockfish 17 in the dojo.